Okay, so we've started to see some operators that look exactly the same as each other. And we can see this in our operator list. So we've got the star here and a star here. One of these is dereference, where the other one is multiplication. The same thing with the address of and our binary and. So how do we tell the difference? So basically, when we have two operands, okay, um, we're using a multiplication or a binary and. So I'll show you what that means. So let's say I had two variables called a and b, okay, and I put a star between them. The star will see that there's an operand on the left hand side and the right hand side, so it's multiplication. The same thing with our and, because there's an operand on either side, we know that we're doing a binary and. Now, if we just have one operand, like this, or like this, then we know that we're using dereference, or we're using address of. Now, this can get confusing if we're using our dereferencing or our address of in an expression. So, take this expression for example. A plus dereferenced um, B, let's say. So, the order of operations is really important here because it will work out the dereference first. Now, if we have a look at this operator, it doesn't have an operand on the left-hand side. It has another operator. It only has one operand, so this will be treated as dereferencing. The a and the plus, the plus, after the it's been dereferenced, it has two operands, and so it's definitely plus or addition. Now, this can get even more complex if we were, for example, using dereference and multiplication together. So, for example, if I have A multiplied with dereference B, the star next to the B is the dereference. Now, if we have a pointer to a pointer, the same thing applies, okay, such that these two stars will be the dereferencing of C and this will be the multiplication. So this is basically um, overloading um, operators. Um, you can, if you want, just store these values and not worry about this too much. But if you do see something like this, that's what's happening. And that is the reason that we can use these operators multiple times in different contexts okay so the main takeaway from this is if you see the star you need to think about its context it doesn't always mean multiplication okay that's it thank you